everyone welcome back to GK today i am mujhe sana and in this video we'll cover the current affairs before we move ahead let me inform you that these questions are part of our daily 20 mcq series 2022 in the gk today's android application so if you are looking for the text version of these questions and their explanations along with the interactive quiz you may consider joining our daily 20 mcq series in the gk today android application in this course in app you get daily 20 mcqs a fortnightly quiz a monthly revision document and also category wise revision ebooks that are optimized for reading on mobile you are also able to access all archives of questions from january 2020 onwards and let me tell you one more thing if you want the hindi version of this session you can refer to our former channel named as gk today the link has been given in the description box from where you can reach to so without taking much of your time let's get started good morning everyone welcome back to gk today and today we'll be discussing most important mcqs from 14th and 15th of august 2022 also happy independence to all of you let's start our session which indian state launched nithanna bima scheme for benefiting the weavers so chief minister of telangana mr k c rao launched the nithanna bima scheme for the weavers on the occasion of national handloom day okay and this scheme will provide a 5 lakh insurance cover to the weavers families in case of the unfortunate demise of an eligible beneficiary and for this purpose telangana government has partnered with life insurance corporation of india okay so two things are important this scheme belongs to telangana state and for this scheme telangana government has partnered with lic okay next is which indian politician was conferred with friends highest civilian award chevalier de la legion de honor so senior congress leader shashi tharoor is said to be conferred with the friends highest civilian award and the french government is honoring shashi tharoor for his writings and speeches so this award is also called as national order of the legion of honor and it was established in the year 1802 Two. Okay, so only thing you have to remember is the highest civilian award of France is said to be given to Shashi Tharoor. Next is which state or union territory launched the Ummeed Marketplace Initiative? So Jammu and Kashmir Lieutenant Governor Manoj Sinha has inaugurated the Ummeed Marketplace under the Avsar Scheme of Airports Authority of India at Srinagar International. airport okay so this initiative will actually support local art and artisans of self help groups of jammu and kashmir rural livelihood mission and it aims to provide a platform to market the local products directly to the customers as well okay so this is the initiative of jammu and kashmir can you tell me parvas is a market linkage scheme of which state or the union territory do let me know in the comments next is which indian bank has partnered with treds platform m1 exchange so private sector lender hdfc bank has partnered with the invoice discounting platform m1 exchange and with this now the bank can get on board the reserve bank of india's trade receivables discounting system okay so this will bring in high liquidity to the buyers and msmes at competitive interest rate okay so which indian bank is this this is hdfc bank next is isro recently test fired the milestone of low altitude escape motor of which mission so indian space research organization announced the completion of an important milestone in the gaganyaan project by successfully test firing the low altitude escape motor of the crew escape system from shri harikota andhra pradesh actually talking about lem it is a distinctive special purpose solid rocket motor with four reverse flow nozzles and if the gaganyaan mission has to be aborted during the initial phase of its space flight then ces takes away the crew module 
of the Gaganyaan mission, thereby to rescue the astronaut. Okay. So only thing you have to remember is this motor is associated with Gaganyaan mission. Next is which institution released the policy brief titled as "All That Glitters Is Not Gold" on the digital currency? So United Nations Trade and Development Body (UNCTAD) published three policy briefs, including "All That Glitters Is Not Gold," "The High Cost of Leaving Cryptocurrencies Unregulated." Okay, so Ukraine has actually topped this list with 12.7%. Then it is followed by Russia and Venezuela. Fine. And talking about India, so 7.3% of the population owned the digital currency in the year 2021, and with this we are ranked at seventh position in the list of top 20 global economies for the digital currency ownership as the share of population. Okay. So this is the publication of UNCT AD. What is the full form? United Nations Conference on Trade and Development. Next is, which Indian leader's home is conferred the London's Blue Plaque honor? So the London home of the Indian leader Dada Bhai Nauroji is said to get a blue plaque, which is a kind of honor that is reserved for notable personalities who have lived and worked in London. And talking about Dada Bhai Nauroji, he is the very first Asian. to be elected as a british member of parliament and the blue plaque scheme was established in the year 1866 and it is run by english heritage at present fine next is which state launched a community radio station named as radio jay ghosh so chief minister of uttar pradesh yogi adityanath has launched this radio jay ghosh to mark the anniversary of kakori train action as the part of azadi ka amrit mahotsav celebration so the state's department of culture launched the community radio channel to promote the folk art performing art regional delicacies of uttar pradesh and gallantry award winners and not only this it will also have the weekly shows on education fine so this is the initiative of uttar pradesh state Next is James Merape was sworn in as the Prime Minister of which country? So the Parliament of Papua New Guinea has elected the Prime Minister James Merape to power after elections in this South Pacific Island nation, and he was sworn in as the Prime Minister for the second time. Okay, the contenders to lead the new government were Merape and Peter. and uh, papua new guinea is a diverse tribal society which gained independence from australia in the year 1975 okay you can also be asked that who is the new prime minister of papua new guinea answer would be james merape next is which is the first bank in india to launch a policy to fund the industry of lab grown diamonds so state bank of india has become the country's very first bank to launch a policy to fund the industry of lab grown diamonds and india's largest private lender sbi has released operational guidelines for financing man made diamond houses including the standard prudential practices so synthetic diamond generally cost 30 to 40% less than the natural diamond okay so this is sbi and don't forget that few days back state bank of india has also launched the whatsapp banking services right so through this feature the users can check their account balance as well as they can get the mini statement on their phones okay next is which state or union territory has inaugurated the bharat rang mahotsav so the governor of maharashtra state bhagat singh koshiyari inaugurated the 22nd bharat rang mahotsav recently in mumbai and this is five day drama festival which is being jointly organized by union ministry of culture and pl desh pande maharashtra kala academy to pay tribute to our freedom fighters so bharat rang mahotsav or you can say national theater festival started in 1999 
and it is the annual theater festival that is organized by national school of drama new delhi okay so recently this mahotsav has been inaugurated by maharashtra state next is which union ministry is associated with a smile 75 initiative so ministry of social justice and empowerment has identified 75 municipal corporations to implement the comprehensive rehabilitation of the persons who are engaged in the act of begging okay and it is done under the spirit of azadi ka amrit mahotsav so this initiative is called smile and the full form of smile is support for marginalized individuals for livelihood and enterprise and uh, this initiative will focus on rehabilitation provision of medical facilities counseling awareness education skill development etc with other government welfare programs fine so these were the most important current affairs and the news from today and now we'll move to our revision section which three categories we are covering today first of all we'll see some of the important conferences then we'll see some of the important news from 2022 and after that we'll see some of the toppers in different sectors okay first of all we'll see some of the important conferences that have been recently conducted which city is the host of conference on the cotton challenges ahead 2022 so the host of this conference is coimbatore you have to tell me when do we observe the world cotton day next is the border guards bangladesh border security force border conference was recently hosted in which city so it was recently hosted in dhaka bangladesh the conference on the export potential of natural organic and gi agro products was held in which city this conference recently took place in guwahati in the state of assam which is the venue of the national conference of state agriculture and horticulture ministers so venue of this conference was bangalore which of the following countries have been named the country of the year by europe's largest startup conference viva tech 2020 this is india which is the venue of the plenary session of 110th international labor conference this is geneva switzerland and don't forget that the headquarters of international labor organization also lies in geneva okay next we'll see some of the important news from 2022 the union cabinet in august 2022 approved to continue pradhan mantri awas yojana urban till which year so union cabinet has recently approved the continuation of pradhan mantri awas yojana urban till december 2024 and uh, the housing for all mission was launched in june 2015 and the original deadline for the scheme was march 2022 and this scheme aims to provide the pakka houses to all eligible urban beneficiaries okay what is the position of india in the 2022 commonwealth games we are at fourth position in this game because we have earned total 61 medals out of which 22 are gold 16 are silver and rest 23 are bronze which is the first country in the medal tally of commonwealth games it is australia second is england and third is canada and fourth is india fine right? don't forget that sharad kamal become the most successful indian athlete at the commonwealth games this year because he has total earned four medals out of which three are gold okay which country is the chair of asian association for the year 2022 So for this year Asian Association is chaired by Cambodia. What is the repo rate after the August 2022 Monetary Policy Committee meeting? So repo rate after August MPC is 5.4%. Which is the only Indian bank to be listed in the Fortune 500 list in 2022? So the only Indian bank to be listed in this Fortune 500 list is State Bank of India and the rank of SBI is 236 also walmart from usa was the first in this list and uh, reliance industries was ranked at 104 so total nine indian companies were featured in this fortune list 
and uh, five were state owned while four were of private sector okay which country chairs the united nations security council counter terrorism committee for 2022 this is india india won its first ever medal in which sport in the commonwealth games 2022 so we have won our very first medal in lawn bowls this year in commonwealth games okay the last category which state topped the country in utilization of agri funds in the financial year 2021-22 so Andhra Pradesh has basically topped in utilization of agri funds which country emerged as the top sourcing nation in FDI equity flows into India in financial year 2021-22 so first is Singapore and then Singapore is followed by USA then third is Mauritius and fourth is Netherlands okay which Indian airport was ranked 13th in the ACI list of top 20 busiest airports in the world this is Indira Gandhi International Airport and top 7 airports in this ranking are from USA and the first airport is Hartsfield Jackson Atlanta International Airport fine so the top 20 busiest airports accounts for 19% of the global traffic which state topped the utilization of funds under smart city mission this is Tamil Nadu and Tamil Nadu has actually utilized 3932 crore rupees out of 4333 crore rupees and the second position was occupied by Uttar Pradesh Uttar Pradesh has utilized 2699 crore rupees out of 3142 crore rupees which country was the top choice of Indian nationals who renounced their Indian citizenship in 2021 this is USA and also Indian nationalist wants to become the citizen of Australia after USA Canada and UK as well okay so total 1.63 lakh Indians renounced their Indian citizenship in the year 2021 in the year 2021 to 22 which of the following countries overtook China as India's top trading partner this is USA and the bilateral trade between India and USA reached at 119.42 billion dollars in 2021 to 22 while this value was 80.51 billion dollars in 2020 to 21 which bank topped the list of PSU lenders in terms of the loan growth in financial year 22 this is bank of Maharashtra okay now let's start with today's quiz here on the slide you can see five questions which have been taken from the past two three days current affairs pause the video and try to solve each of these questions and at the end of the lecture do not forget to share your scores in the comment section so please be honest and do not cheat with yourself so that's it for today I hope you have liked the session these were the important news and events from today and we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs Till then stay tuned, thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to GK today. With this Minuzat Sana signing off.